Hi, John Miles here, and today I'm going to show some of the new camera models, the illuminators that I've built, and how to set them up. And um, a lot of uh, people are just getting the illuminator only kit, and that's what I'm showing here. But it will presume that you have a, a Nikon C7 <coughs> or any Nikon full frame and the Nikon uh, macro lens. And um, the optional part of the kit is this extension tube, which is uh, right here. And this is um, important to have. It's made from by photodiox, and it's 35 millimeters in length. And it's very stable, and it gives you better use of your pixel area by increasing the magnification to 1.9 or so, so the iris can fill the full frame. So that um, is uh, an extra $100. Um, but the uh, illuminators, all these two-channel illuminators are $1,500. And um, it doesn't include the extension tube, but it does include everything else that you need, and um, including the electronic flash. So there's a flash component, uh, AC adapter for the flash. I can zoom in here. And um, the illuminator also includes uh, spare batteries for the uh, focusing light and a screwdriver to open the battery compartment and uh, alternate source of powering the um, focusing light is uh, USB and <clears throat> the um, transformer that is supplied um, also has a, a USB port to the newer ones too and um, this is designed to uh, work with the flash and um, it's important to use an adapter this is a 2 amp power supply and it keeps the recycle time down below 9 seconds or so and if you just rely on batteries they're going to wear out however I always uh, suggest starting off with batteries so for example, um, <clears throat> let me see here. Okay, so this is the flash with batteries, and uh, it, in, it this is how I send it with batteries, so you can learn how it works and get used to it, make sure everything's working, and then after about, uh, you know, 15 or 20 pictures, you'll notice the battery bars d drop and uh, it takes too long to recharge. So you, you definitely will want to use this. And um, while I'm here, I'll show how that works. So like I said, use this at first. And then um, the way the rest of it works is sort of like this. So um, the battery eliminator is uh, the little blue <clears throat> dummy batteries here's one here it just says pass through and then this one has a, whoa, let me get back here this one has a ribbon cable here that can fit through the opening in the flash and then it ends in a socket a DC power barrel connector that's 5.5 uh, outside and 2.1 inside that's a standard uh, pretty standard type n i believe type m i think and um now um sometimes i'll use an extension cord and i like to label these too but let me get that out of the way uh, this can uh, make it give it a better reach and uh, that's useful this is what it looks like here after you install the battery eliminator. It just looks like this. And it fits right through uh, the edge here. I think that's able to focus there. And I'm used to that. But for today, I'll just use the battery uh, powered one because uh, it, it, it just fits in just like that. That's all. And then. <clears throat> When you install it, you rotate this uh, and drive a pin down into there, make sure it has a good connection. And uh, it, it should have a two arrow icon showing that it, there is good communication with the camera. 
So I will move these apart here. <clears throat> All right. Now, and this here is part two, and this is um, how I'm going to show these illuminators. The older one here is uh, called the Any Angle Lighting, and I came out with that early this year in February, and um, it was designed uh, if you want any angle, including above and below the, the horizontal plane or uh, extreme side lighting over here. This is, it includes uh, uh, an alignment target um, to help set the angles and any of the illuminators that are adjustable side lighting will have that. And um, I'm not actually making these anymore. They're a bit complex, but these will probably be collector's item because they had a very limited edition run. Um, but I now have a different technology. However, there's uh, still several of these in use and I can show how it fits together. Um, these are magnets and um, normally uh, you ship it and key store it in the center position. That's at 15 degrees. And there's also 45 degree magnets. Any other angle is covered by the magic arm here. And well, that opens up like this, and I can put this into a uh, support, and that way it would be easier to see. I I, I um, include this type of clamp here, a, a, a 12 centimeter Arca Swiss clamp. Let me get this pointing in the right direction here. And the illuminators in general are designed to have a center of gravity right about where that handle is here in the center of the mounting point. And that'll generally be the center of gravity. Um, and on here I can show now, um, perhaps I'll move these out of the way. Those are the new models. These three are all the uh, fixed, fold out multi-angle. But going back to this one, um, it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, how to set these arms, but there's a rosette here which allows it to clamp definitive position with a ra almost like a, a ratchet but a gear, and uh, it allows it to hold, support a great deal of weight and firmly keep that position. Um, but on e these two ends each have uh, two degrees of freedom because you can rotate it, you can tilt it, and you also need to be aware of how this collar rotates here. So um, there's a notch, and if you want to have the magnet at an angle much uh, more than 30 degrees from the, its axis, you need to have it lined up with the notch and then you can rotate it to any angle. So it really can reach any angle. And one way is to, to just move it and then you can use the alignment target. Um, normally you would get it centered so that it's the same height as the other magnets. And then you can easily uh, set the magnet there. And um, there's a lot of versatility here and it was actually uh, intended for people that want to be super creative and try different angles of lighting. However, in the iris photo art world, there may not be a lot of time for different angle settings. And um, as a result, um, I have a newer model that is a um, uh, successor to this, uh, it, which came out just last month. But this is how you store these um, sideways like that. The arms can store there. And then it, it, it's easy to slide the camera in here. So when you get the kit, it includes a, a, a plate. And one thing that's important is that um, it's designed for this to be right at the center. So when you attach this to the camera, keep the um, point right there in the center. And then you, uh, you can bring it in from the side because uh, there's 
uh, you know, like no, no obstruction here from this side. And it's designed that way. The handle is helpful for carrying it. And then it just slides, the camera itself will slide right in like that. And you get it flush on both ends here to assure the design position and then torque that up like that. And when it's in the right uh, setup, then there will be just a slight gap of a millimeter or two, one, two, three millimeters perhaps gap here. And um, this is the light guide, the input light guide fixture, and it brings the lights down there. Now, all of these cameras can take a second um, pair of light guides if so desired and I can show how that looks here you just um, get this uh, extra shutter here it includes two extra long light guides and it can go right on top here and uh, it gives you two more channels so that's an option to add on here now, um, as I mentioned, this is uh, the any angle lighting. Now, um, it turns out that uh, <laughs> when you have that arm over there, if you want to go to the other side, you have to move it. And then that means every time you change eyes, you have to move the whole um adjusting clamp and all. So I came out with a different design. This one is kind of unique and new. And the way this one works is it has these two folding arms with the magnets pre-positioned and uh, they swing out. So for example, I have a wing nut here, just one wing nut. And then, <clears throat> then that swings out like that and then you just torque that up a little bit like that. And um, the beauty of this is that I can get all these uh, angles of the right eye without uh, any adjustment. In fact, I don't even need a alignment target for this illuminator. And so there's uh, 75, 60, 45, 30, and 15. And the other cool thing is you can actually put them in between two magnets. So there's actually nine positions on each side. And um, uh, the uh, focusing light is down here. So that helps you get a good sharp image focus. And it also uh, controls the pupil size. Um, this is a socket for the USB if you need it. But uh, the whole idea with this illuminator is as follows. Okay, so I have it set up here for the right eye and it would be only about two inches from where the iris is. Then I want to go to the left eye so I have to move this down out of the way. I slide it over here and I bring this one up like that. Now I can take a picture and remember the left eye is right here right about here and the right eye is still over here but this had to be folded out of the way to make room so but now I'm all set up for the other eye and you can see all those angles there it's really quick to change the lighting angle and uh, this is the FOMA the fold out multi-angle and that's how it works and it's really really good <laughs> this is like the best one ever i mean everything else is pretty much um uh can't do as fast of a job as this and uh then it came out with one variety just last month here and that is um a special one that can be a hood mount so there's the whole thing right on the lens hood and um it's designed to snap onto the front of the macro lens and these side arms come out. So that's the setup for the right eye. Then when you're done with the right eye, you put this in the, the ready position, you know, ready. And um, bring the second one out for the left eye. And it goes up to a 60 degree angle here. And remember, the iris is right there. It's only two inches away from these lights. And um, 
actually, yeah, about two and a half inches to this point right here, but about two inches to the front of the bracket. That's how close you are. And um, so this is also self-contained, has a focusing light there. It's adjustable brightness. And the nice thing about this is it, <laughs> it, it mounts like this. You just, all you have to do is, you know, put it in the view. You just slide that on there. Get it centered on the lens, right? Like that. And then you snap it into place there. And this is ideal for handheld photography. So um, it's uh, half the weight of the camera mount, the standard camera mount. Uh, that's this one. <clears throat> this one weighs, uh, I believe, uh, 1,300 grams, I think. And this one is well, like 600 or so. And so there it is, um, ideal for, uh, also for supports that are more versatile, possibly a tripod or something. Um, you can just put this anywhere and uh, it's also um, $1,500. And it also includes the flash here. So that's the newest model. This is the first one that I'm sending out. And, uh, well, that's just an intro. I'm going to do a better video later. This is just the take one, <laughs> but I'll have more info.